poor game design. That is poor game design. Even when Eclipse himself said it's unplayable, I constantly said that is poor game design. Nah. Do your research and stop being ignorant. Are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth, Ozuki, or should I knit it down more? If players spawn in invisible world with invisible NPC hitting him and explosions everywhere with no understanding nor guide, he will most likely leave game if game can't guide him on how to start. Does that mean game bad? No. That simply mean game have bad thing in that can be fixed later. That's crazy. <laughs> I was really, really trying to keep this PG. It just doesn't make sense to me that you did write a game that you hate so much. You drop a video on Type Show every other day of how the game is garbage. Yet when somebody else says it's garbage, it's a problem because they're they're not they're not good enough or they're not skilled enough to hate the game. The fuck. And please, for the love of God, bro, stop voice cheesing, man. That's the real reason why you deleted all your old videos because you sounded like a fuck peon and look little bro let me show you how to really voice cheese i should be the least of your worries go focus on the that dropped the content nuke on your channel ozuki dropped the video titled safety four is it real i ain't gonna waste no time let's get into it bro <laughs> all right bro last time oh man about... so before this video starts where i clear my point my okay. friend just sent me some shit that is truly fucking insane so cool. first let me show you the sagey four clip of what this say himself okay you are homie, but like he's this guy's making sense hey dude he's making sense he, he definitely was he's making sense, making sense. Whether it be <laughs> you're a troll. if you don't do that that is poor game, game design is unplayable it's poor game That's design bad game design i agree this has his own cc game copy that he runs with the how to play in the discord talking so i guess he's saying i'm being a hypocrite because i said it's poor game design to have a discord or a, or, or a trello info about your game but for one this is, this is a terrible take, Ozuki. For one, this is a f***ing, this is an NSO copy. This is nowhere meant to be a real game. It was simply a cash grab. So you using this as an analogy to where, to compare to games that actually had development put into them and effort put into them is just, it's, it's a reach of death. Two, poor game design does not equate to the ga entire game being garbage. Poor game design is simply a flaw that can be fixed. I know it's extremely hard for you to comprehend. So are you hearing me? Clean the Kool-Aid sugar out your ears and actually listen to me this time about i agree and he plays rogue lineage in every hardcore game that drops regardless of them needing a trello so obviously oh so you bring oh my gosh i'm so glad you said this bro you make my job easier you bring up rogue lineage a game that so many people quit just because how hard the start was just because how un unclear the game was that to me is poor game design this is coming from somebody that no life rogue was the game still fun 100 percent. but did it have its flaws and have poor game design because of the simple fact that it without literal help from a third party it was literally almost impossible to start yes 100 percent. that's poor game design to me and to double down on this take i feel like developers should treat games like content creators treat channels if you're not sticking with the trends or if you're not sticking with the nows it's really hard for your your content to pro like prosper for example if you're not able to hook an audience into whatever you're putting out, they're going to be uninterested. If you're not able to grab somebody's attention at the start, or if they're at the at the start of the game, it's confusing or too hard, people will leave the game. I 100% believe that. And this is the reason why games like Souls RNG and Battlegrounds do so well, because they're super easy to get into and they're not difficult to understand. But Sage, Type Soul has 50K players. Yeah, because it never even got close to that on release. That's from one. Two, TikTok has done type so fav a, a whole bunch of favors. It's essentially done the job for the developers, considering the fact that they show crazy abilities and crazy clips on type so. So when you're scrolling through TikTok and you see a clip on type so, you're wondering like, whoa, this game looks crazy. That's the f***ing call to action to play the game. That's hooking a player in to give the game a shot. Not them loading into type so as a fishbone and looking clueless running around the map, bro. For Shinobi Journey as an example, this game is also poorly designed. I didn't make this game. It's a copy, dumbass. The f It's a copy. It's this, and, and, and on top of that, it is not even designed for a public. It's designed for a closed community. Same with Type So. It was a type. It was a closed community game that went public. Regardless of them needing a Trello. So obviously, I don't know if you're trying to get a f <sighs> Drake Aiden Ross deal or some shit, man. But hey, don't. This is weird, bro. Matter of fact, to buy game passes in his game, you can't even get them in fucking game like Type Soul. You have to yeah, buy a fucking Yeah, shirt we were too lazy to add it to the actual game because it's a fucking but copy. I guess, I, bro, whatever. But, um, bro, I'll do your tournament, bro. I'll whip you in. You not on, on my soul, you not whooping bro. me, bitch. Let's get into it. 
you talk about? Before, I'm not even gonna be playing his video, bro. I'm just gonna be playing this game while I talk. So first, all right. So I'm get to the f this, point, bro. bro. Basically, bro. <laughs> one more time for you who still don't get it, bro. If a game is missing a Trello that teaches you how to play the game and you can't find out how to play the game, that doesn't mean the game is bad. I never stated that. Give you a good I never stated that. Sleep. I never stated that. I never stated that. Oh my gosh, I hate unintelligent troglodytes that just put words in my mouth. I simply stated that if you have to resort to be... If you're trying to start a game and the game itself cannot guide you to a direction to start to the point where you have to go to a third party site like YouTube, Trello, to, to get any sort of help to start the game, that is poor design. That doesn't mean the entire game is garbage. That just means that part of the game has a flaw. Are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth, Ozuki? Maybe I should slow down when I talk so you can understand and comprehend what I'm talking about, buddy. If you're playing, a, a, if you don't know how to play chess and you sit down at a chess table, my mm -hmm. and you're dog shit the game and you don't know what how what piece does what you're not gonna have fun that's a hundred percent true my but guess what that doesn't mean the game is bad you need I to mean, learn that, the. i mean that's a that's a good point he brought up but like i said it, it doesn't it doesn't what's it called it doesn't trash my point of me saying that i didn't say type so was garbage because it had a, a game design flaw i didn't say it was garbage i said i said it, it simply had a bad part part in the game at the start Whereas a, a, a learning curve that should be somewhat explained to a new player that is completely blind. Because you have the problem where there's fans of these games, right? Like us. There's fans that's been in the Roblox anime community. There's three tiers to There's fans that have already been in the Roblox anime community. So we already understand games like this and we already know what we have to do. Then you have the people that have probably already watched Bleach. So they already have a good idea on how to play a Bleach game. Then you have the people that see a game that's trending on the front page or trending on TikTok that have no idea what Bleach or even anime is and load into the game and I'm like and are like, huh, what the fuck is actually going on? That's exactly what I'm trying to instill into that chicken wing brain of yours. If a player that has no context or no clue what to do on the brand new game that he is touching gets slightly confused and has to resort to something that he has to go out of game for to get information on the game he will more than likely leave are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth ozuki or should i nigga it down more if players spawn in invisible world with invisible npc hitting him and explosions everywhere with no understanding nor guide he will most likely leave game if game can't guide him on how to start does that mean game bad no that simply mean game have bad thing in that can be fixed later does that mean player will always quit no but there's a small chance that you lose customer and robux equating to money because you simply were too lazy to add png slideshow on how to play game in game first in player to resort to trello or youtube instructions bro and sure these in an online game these shits can be put inside of the game my but just because they're out they're not in the game does not mean that the game is bad i if did I, I mean if this is what this video is going to consist of it's i mean it's, it's no point to be watching the rest because we're just we're just going to continuously go in a loophole of saying the same shit of him saying i said type so was bad when i only stated that it had a bad flaw in it i sit down to play chess and i do not know how to play chess at all my that does not mean chess is a bad game or don't have fun playing it now but will somebody quit chess if they don't have no knowledge on the game and it's hard and they keep losing yes because there's people like that that will give up on the game there is people like that that will give up and throw it away if they don't got no prior knowledge and it's, it's hard for them at the start there is people like that all around the world and it's a lot of them so that is 100 why they add manuals to games why they give why they why they give rule books to these games it's different if i learned how to play chess and i still said i didn't enjoy it that still doesn't fucking make it a bad game or still not a valid critique to call it a bad game my nigga that would make what i was saying game. about eclipse's video was that he had no actual valid reasons as to why type soul would be a fucking bad game and he's he did he had a valid reason he's not necessarily completely he had no reason to call it a completely shit game entirely but he had a reason to say it had a flaw in it 100 percent 
100%. And if you rewatch my video where he said it was unplayable, I constantly repeated that it had a design flaw. Design flaw. Design flaw. Design flaw. Matter of fact, let me show you. We thank God you even put it in your own video. If you don't do that, that is poor game, game design. Is unplayable. It's poor game That's design. Bad game design. You literally, you literally hear that. You literally hear me say that is poor game design. That is poor game design. Even when Eclipse himself said it's unplayable, I constantly said that is poor game design. Nigga, do your research and stop being ignorant. What I was saying about Eclipse's video was that he had no actual valid reasons as to why type so bad game and he's calling it a dumpster fire. Does that make sense to you, my Like, bro, this literally plays rogue lineage, bro. A game that has no type of tutorial. It doesn't tell you what to do, nigga. How to do anything. How to do anything at all, actually, you, nigga. You, 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 you saying it's just logically proves my point, bro. Rogue lineage was it had flaws just because I was able to enjoy it just because I broke through and 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 made myself able to f figure out how to play the game does not make that any any less true a 100% for a public audience which is why so many people quit it it had flaws bro it had almost and I mean but there's no there's no problem with that because that's how the developers wanted their game they don't they didn't want it to be and like they didn't want it to be like helpful or anything and that's okay but if you're trying to appeal to a large audience, it won't work. That's why Rogue Lineage never blew up, also considering the fact that it was a bunch of Robux. But it never got the attention it deserved for how good of a game it was because how hard it was to start off. That's a, you, you're, you're super contradicting, bro. It's it's actually kind of insane how contradicting you are. You just spawn in. You don't even know what your fucking race does. Is that a bad game because of that? It's not a bad game, but it's a flaw. It's not about un not understanding your race. I think if for race example, you should be able to like explore and figure it out. But I'm talking about rogue lineage as a whole, completely spawning in with like what? I don't think you ever spawned in with silver, just spawning next to an end and, and campfire just thrown into a world with no knowledge on where do I go about how XP in the game works, how to kill where where mobs are it, it just there's no there's just nothing. You're just thrown into a world. Literally just plopped into a world. Literally. That's that's poor game design. Yeah, one hundred percent. The game was designed to be like that, but to appeal, if you're trying to appeal to a large audience, that's poor game design. And I've seen a lot of people using Minecraft as an example, saying that Minecraft is literally the same thing where you're plopped into a world. But that's kind of like stated before you even play the game. It's literally made, and, and on top of that, Minecraft is more like a, a sandbox. Like you're, you do what you want. You make, you make your world. You don't, you don't do that in Rogue Lens. It has a progression system. It has like a story behind it. There's lore and everything. Minecraft is more of a sandbox where you create your own story. And you create how things end. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bad mechanic in a game. That That's what I'm telling. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. I mean the game is oh bad. Oh my god, he's now, so ass. Now sit here and he's tell so me ass. you did not have fun on Rogue Lineage. I did not You're say that. Lying, my <laughs> and if you want to tell me this Rogue Lineage so is a good game off of your personal experience. That's completely fine. But if you want to tell me Rogue Lineage is a bad game just based off of the fact that you don't know how to play it, then uh, that's just, bro, it's literally a loophole, bro. Oh my gosh. Why am I watching this video? It's literally just a loophole of contradiction. It's not. That doesn't make sense at all. And if you disagree with that, I honestly do not know what to tell you, bro. Like, I don't know how many different languages this, I, I, I the, the problem is you didn't open your ears and you just assumed because I, I, I agree with a, a statement Eclipse said, you assumed that I, I thought the entirety of the game was garbage. Like, you, you you can't be serious with this video, bro. This is this was just a reach, a reach of death. I need to say this shit in for people to understand it, bro. But this even tried to misrepresent my shit and act like I contradicted myself you when did. I said that, oh, you can call the game bad if you actually play the game, but if you just don't play the game and then you call it bad then that shit doesn't make sense that that's literally a completely valid point because he he spoke on his experience from when he played the game so from his experience he's giving what he felt were problems that he's noticed in the game which is valid you can't say he didn't play the game just because he didn't reach max level he didn't he didn't finish the game but he was he played it he played through enough to get a decent amount and grasp enough information to make a, a, a critique on what he experienced. His under his critique on what he went through while he played through still stands. I think that you could just go into something a developer spent hours on my mm -hmm. and spend zero time to play it and just conclude that it's a bad fucking project that Nick spent time on just based off the fact that you personally do not know how to play it, my nigga. Then you're just a fucking dumb like that's it like i said my point still stands him making a video critiquing on what he experienced while playing 
during his playthrough is completely valid. Just because he hasn't finished the game doesn't make what he hasn't went through while playing invalid, bro. <laughs> and I know you're not a dumb because you were able to find out how to play Rogue Lineage, my whether it was from your friends or you used the Trello or you used some other shit, you found out how to play the game and you had fun in it. Like, 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 like. You know the crazy thing? I'm so glad that you mentioned Rogue Lineage because I wanted to just drop this nuke on your head. When Rogue Lineage was first released, it, it was before release, it was a CC kind of game. And there was no Trellos nor YouTube videos on how to play. You were simply just, after spending Robux, you were simply thrown into this world with little to nothing to know how to do. So not only did this, not only did Rogue Lineage not have good game design to explain on how to get started but there wasn't even any third party help what do you have to say about that i would love to know is that a, is that a bad game in general because you just never find out how to play the game like no the game's not bad but the design on how to start is because you leave players with blank minds on how to start because there's no there's no direction there's no source of direction to, to teach you to do anything that is bad design dumbass bro and even if new don't know how to play the game type soul still has a fucking concurrent high player base so clearly you don't need a fucking trello to find out how to play the game so eh, wrong type soul still doesn't have a tutorial on how to play there's still no help section and on top of that people literally are in the discord begging for help on how to start go just search up i want everybody that's watching this video to go search up type so discord and search up how to play and see how many results come up i promise you it's a fuck ton of them and on top of that it's more so many players because it's doing extremely well on TikTok and it's kind of a trendy game at the moment. So of course there's gonna be how to guides on how to play all over YouTube and, and, and on Twitter and there's gonna be FAQ discords and things of that nature. But they can make their jobs a million times easier by simply adding a help section in the actual game. So hey, this is why I don't like doing this YouTube shit, bro. Then fucking quit and don't ever in your fucking poverty slinging life ever mention me in another video again, you fucking loser. Why the